Hey, welcome back to another video of Quantrix Authority. But before we get on to the learning, I just wanted to let you know about the Quantrix Seminar Series that's happening in Salt Lake City on March 25th and 26th of 2020. It's going to be an awesome seminar where Steve Bailey and I are going to share with you uh, what we know about Quantrix. And we're going to really try to help you become Quantrix Masters and gain proficiency in this tool because it is awesome and it will improve your life if you can just grasp the concepts that Steve and I will share with you. It is worth uh, the price of admission, if you will. And I hope that I'll see you there. And I encourage you to go out to foresightgroup.com forward slash Quantrix Seminar Series to learn more and to register today. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number where I'm going to show you how to prevent an input cell indicator in the first year when using recursion. This is in response to a question sent in to me by Frank. He has a pretty complex model. Uh, he says it has lots of input cells, lots of uh, recursion going on. And this model that I'm showing you is a very simple model, but it really demonstrates the problem that he is having. He has here in Matrix 2 where he is where we are calculating the growth rate for our sales that are listed here in matrix one and what i would like to do is i'd like to compute just the year over year growth rate so in order to do that i'm going to add a formula that says that growth rate is equal to matrix one uh, year this sales right and i don't need to specify sales because my categories of metrics are linked and i'm dividing that by matrix one of the year previous and then I'm going to subtract one from this and it gives me a percentage in this model and in Frank's model he has this show cell indicators on which shows a little green square or a little green triangle by default up here in the corner that just indicates that this is an input cell now in Frank's model it's again it's a large model these indicators mean something and it goes ahead and prompts the users that maybe they need to insert something into these cells but there are certain cells for example that frank doesn't want values to be entered in and he doesn't want this prompt to show but he wants it to show on other input cells and generally the where he doesn't want it to show is in the first year so how can i make this cell right here in my calculation not an input cell but a calculated cell well the way we do this is by using something known as soft recursion within quantrix modeler and soft recursion how you use it is you simply use the tilde function that's this kind of squiggly line within quantrix you put a squiggly line in front of your recursive word and what that does is that forces that cell to calculate okay so i'm going to get a divide by zero error just because it doesn't know how to solve for this and we could look through that with our dependency inspector so then what i'm going to do is i'm going to write a clear error and put this formula in a clear error and you can see that this is a calculated cell it has a clear error applied to it but i have no cell indicator as well now because this is now a calculated cell and that is what happens when you use recursion or soft recursion use this tilde with recursion within quantrix it goes ahead and makes your first instance uh, not uh, a, an input cell but it makes it a calculated cell and therefore you would lose your input cell indicator so go ahead and uh, if you if you have a cell that you don't want to be an input cell and it's generally first in your list go ahead and apply some soft recursion and it is calculated if you have any questions about recursion or anything else in regards to quantrix modeler i do hope that you reach out to me at quantrix authority at gmail.com because i want to help you become a quantrix master and i want to answer any quantrix question you may be able to throw at me so go ahead and Ask those questions away, and please join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. Today's podcast is brought to you by QuantrixAuthority.com. I love Quantrix, and I want to make you a Quantrix master.